Elizabeth and Victoria we were born 2017. My name is Stella Christopher. I'm the grandmother of Elizabeth and Victoria. I'm a caterer. That's what my that's my profession. So my equipment got burnt. So I don't have anything that I'm, I'm doing again. Till so somebody helped me, gave me money to establish this kerosene business that I was doing. Before things now changed, when they gave birth to Elizabeth and Victoria, their dad is, is my son, my first son. Before they gave birth to uh, Elizabeth and uh, Victoria, he was working. So when they gave birth to them, uh, two months later, they now stopped him. They now stopped working. So since then, since has, has not been okay for us. They were staying, the, the landlord driving. So the family are here with me and he is staying with his friend. Their mother is not doing anything for me. Was working before at a Chicken Republic. See, they stopped them. So since then, he has not gotten another job. They have been staying with me right from their childhood. They normally stay almost two years at home. They do not go to school before the perpetrators now come to this place and talk to us. Now said we should be paying the money a little by little. That's how we now take the children to his school, Jolly Place School. I'm the one that was now carrying them, using my money to do all these things, caring for them. Things now get difficult. To pay their school fees is a problem. So I now decide that I want to withdraw them from the school. I want to take them to public school. So the uh, perpetrator now called me, started, you know, cancelling me, talking to me that I should leave them, that God will, he will intervene. Now talk to me, so I now leave them. Some parents came to me and they told me they want to remove their children, take them to public school that they can't afford again. And I was like, don't do that. These children you are removing from here to public school. Definitely, they are going to come down and it's, it's not going to be good for them. So just allow them to be coming. And like for two things, I didn't collect school fees from them. They were just coming. And every day they are saying, thank you, man. Thank you, man. I came across this special foundation through a child they are paying for in my school. So I get in contact with them. I presented the case of these children. So they are perpetrators brought the form to us. I was thinking it's just something, I did not know that it's something like this. And they said no problem. And since then, they've been paying their school fees. I was shocked. I said, is it true that some people like this are still exist? He now said yes. I was very excited. I was very happy. Even the father, when he, when he came back, was very happy. So now give the form to this father, and now fill it, and now return the form. And those children are excelling in their uh, studies, their exams, they are really doing well. Ever since that last year, the special foundation started paying for the, their, their school fees for everything. The body now relieved from the family, from the father, from me, from the mother and everybody. I really thank them. The foundation will never go down. Elizabeth, he likes fashion and he likes taking photographs. But in, uh, Victoria, just calm. But at times they will sit down, they study together, they will call themselves, I will, let's, let's do lesson. They will sit down, they will take their pen, take their book. They started writing, teaching themselves. They will write ABC. If it is a capital letter they want to, they will start teaching themselves. And when they finish, they'll find their things, they will put it inside. They'll start playing with themselves. My name is Elizabeth Irabo. I am six years old. My name is Victoria Irabo. I am six years old. I am in our school. My favorite food is Indomie. I provide color in the red. 
I am named Noju too. My favorite food is Guadalupe. My favorite color is color pink. I would like to be not in the future. I would like to be a doctor in the future. Elizabeth is the one that first, that first commands. Think 30 minutes to stroke. 45 minutes, one hour later, we two and a half came out. I want to say thank you to Special Foundation. I appreciate their good work. They've been wonderful. These children would have been sitting now at all or going to public school, if not for them. So I just thank the foundation for taking care of the Elizabeth and uh, Victoria. I pray that God he will bless them. They will not run dry and they will not they will not run short. Anything they lay their hand upon will prosper. Thank you, Special Foundation, for paying my school fees.